mom. Don't forget to project your voice at Parker the actor. Oh, hi, I'm Jill. I am sure you've seen a whole bunch of videos on YouTube how to make your own hand sanitizer. If I can get you to unhear most of that information, I know I'm doing my part. Um, I've been a nurse for over 20 years, most of the time as a clinical consultant in long-term care facilities. I can um, come in to help a facility as a director of nursing, maybe staff educator, um, quality assurance, but in each of my roles, I can't emphasize enough that we have so many simple tools that can help prevent the spread of um, things like the, the coronavirus. So if it's that simple, we gotta figure it out. In addition to 20 plus years of nursing, I have served in medical missions in uh, my beloved city, Soleil, Haiti, where there are minimal resources, very impoverished. Um, we saw the spike of cholera. We saw chikanunga, try to say that twice. Um, Zika virus, we saw typhoid, malaria, HIV. But we knew we had the right tools. For cholera, we used a water and bleach solution. We wouldn't re recommend that right now. Um, but it was what it took for cholera, and we had to use it. Um, right now, there's nothing more important than um, social distancing, um, washing your hands. When that's not available, um, using hand sanitizers, whether it's a store-bought or one you make yourself. But be informed. You have to make sure it meets the World Health Organization's 60% minimum. So that's what it takes to kill the coronaviruses on surfaces and on your hands. So um, you're gonna find a whole bunch of really great gel um, recipes that will be using the 70% interchangeably with one that should have 90%. Anything thick like a gel with a lot of aloe, um, one that doesn't move in the bottle very much, that's gonna be the misuse of the 70%. Um, it'll do the math. Get 70% to start, you need 60%. It only leaves you with 10% of an additive that's gonna help soften your hands. So it's easy, um, it's fun to make, um, but you just wanna make sure that you are making the right thing. You don't want a false sense of security that you go to the grocery store, touch a shopping cart that hundreds of others have touched. And if it doesn't do the job, um, that's a shame, it's reckless, and it's unfair to give the wrong information. This sanitizer is going to be a little bit thinner in consistency, but it will make a great multi-purpose spray. You can use it on your hands, you can use it on hard surfaces like the shopping cart, um, but you can also saturate paper towels to make ready-to-go hand wipes. So the next step is we want to prepare our surfaces, which includes uh, utensils we're working with, the surfaces we're working on, and any bottles that the product's going into. We want to make sure that any contaminant that may be there, that it wouldn't affect our final product. So let the fun begin. Spray all the items you're working with inside and outside the bottles. And then we're going to let that dry and we're going to let any contaminants evaporate with the alcohol. Okay, now that we're ready to get to work, we have added one part aloe vera gel to nine parts of the isopropyl alcohol. And just to make sure that we get to the right level, I'm going to put my cheaters on. My eyes are the only thing I'll cheat on. A little bit more, just about right. And we're going to stir this up, get a little mad, take that coronavirus, okay. and blend it. We've added a little bit of the mint. Um, I think I need a little bit more to cover that kind of medicinal smell that you get from the alcohol. Ooh, that's nice. So now you're ready to pour that into um, your containers. We've got 
several spray options. Got a little funnel. You can get these at any Hobby Lobby um, or Michaels. Fill this up. That fragrance gave it kind of that cool blue color added to the aqua um, gel. It's kind of kind of pretty. Okay, add your sprayer, and you are ready to go. We have a couple other options. I found this really great sprayer, um, great for hard surfaces, and I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it's kind of a continuous spray with one pump. It just broadcasts um, a wider area. So um, I love this one. It's a little bit more volume in there, but it really takes care of a lot. So um, thanks for listening. We're in this together, and we're glad that you finally have the right information on those things, those tools, um, that's gonna keep you safe during this fight.